Uh, another quick improvement here that uh, James has done for me. As you can see now on the list, all the not picked. Um, what was that before? They were being picked, and then you couldn't change it back to empty. Was it one out to save? Is an improvement we've done, so that um, the box can't be empty. A status has got to be selected, so things don't get missed. So now, if for instance, like plums, we'll get picked bars cut, and then there's a delay on the fabric. We can change that back to order not picked and save it, and then it can go back in the drawer instead of filling up this blue tray here. All them should be under query. Um, if they're back in the drawer, this is where they should be, and it's easier to find then. So, thank you very much, James. Alright, guys, it's a quick improvement here, which I hope will be done soon. I've uh, hit the light bulb, so I've sent the ticket. Um, at the moment, we're getting three sets of stickers for Romans. That's one where we used to do fabric. Um, so, obviously, that one was obsolete. So, we will only have in two sets of stickers. So, we say time and money every time we print the Roman order. Oh, thank you. Good morning all. The answer with the question is, um, whenever I'm out of my lot tape, I never knew where to get the, uh, the tape from. Um, so I would have to ask a few people where to get it from. And it was quite a struggle to try and find it. So now I've just stuck the location on the label. So now people know exactly where to get it from. They know exactly where they are located. And the same with the 10 mil mylar tape as well. Morning all. Um, just before and after, this is the, one of the templates we had for the tube sizes. Um, there's only 32, 30, and 38, and 45, which in all fairness are mainly what I need to know on testing. But it's good for other people to, to know the other sizes if they don't know them. So I've just put a template out with 32, 38, 45, 55, and also 25. We're not going to see these regularly on testing, but as I said, it's good to know and to have them all there anyway. So, thank you. Good morning, everybody. Um, after doing my top bar improvement, I thought I'd do a, it'd be a good idea to put the bottom bars on there as well so everyone knows what they are, especially new people. Thank you. There you are. My improvement is moving it over slightly and the three year one. So now it's easier to tell who's been here five years plus. Thank you very much. Morning, everyone. Just another quick little improvement. So I'm forever forgetting to put my scanner on charge and it's forever going dead. So I've got to keep going back and forth the charging station to put it on charge. And then I've got to go back again after about five minutes so I can use it. So I've just decided to actually run the charger from underneath the table up to the scanner. And it makes life so much easier. Thank you. Good morning everyone, just a quick little improvement. So we just had a, de a delivery uh, fabric for smart blinds, but unfortunately it's uh, very similar to our quad range. So I've just put in a little label inside just to specify what it is. So it's smart blinds 3% soft grey. So now this will go on the rack in with all the rest of the smart blinds fabric. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, little improvement that we didn't really plan but there's the man <laughs> um, I used to have these scrap bins I used to have the two of them on the left side when I come out the door so I'd have obviously the clean aluminium of people there which was the closest for me but then I'd have the painted aluminium over here so I'd be walking further or trying to throw it over the other bin but Ricky come up with this little suggestion and I think it's a it's a goer so I've got a bin either side of the door now, so it's the same motion either side. A lot better for me, and um, less, about the same amount of work for Ricky. Thank you. morning what I got by is a stock checklist I fill it in every morning um, to go and get stock from the warehouse but when I move my desk the other day the stock checklist went missing so with the help of Robert James now I've created a stock checklist and it's also got a 
lean label number now so if I need to reprint it in the future I know exactly where to go thank you uh, morning um, when we're pulling out the guide wire we realize that if you pull a bit firmly it's a chance of the cord locks tipping so what I've done I fastened the cord locks onto the top and also fastened the base of the guide wire down so that this gives me more strength so that when you pull the wire out the cord locks don't fall on the floor thank you very much Hi, here's a little improvement I did today. Uh, I scrapped that shadow board I've had in here because it was taking too much space. Some of the tools were missing and I only kept the uh, essentials that I need in here. Thank you. Good morning. Um, little improvement. Just finally have a designated area for my dryer rather than it lying around under the desk. So it was right there in front of me. Thank you.